This is the main Firewalla user interface. In the middle, you can see a summary of activities in your network, as well as the total bandwidth used in the past 60 minutes, 24 hours, and 30 days. This can help you find out what your network is doing and which one of your devices is overusing the internet. By tapping on Blocked, you will be able to find out what is being blocked on your network and where the blocked traffic are coming from. On the top of the screen, you will find an overview of your network performance and quality. You can tap into the widget to get more details. Here is a quick summary of network performance numbers. And below this, you will find all the recent network events. In case you were having issues, these events will help you to find out why. Firewalla measures your network speed periodically, and you can configure and see the test results here. In addition, you will also be able to test network latency, packet loss, and Wi-Fi speed. Each button below will provide a different function. Let's take a look. The Devices button will give you a list of devices and device groups on your network. You can drill down individually to see detailed activities. If you're into technology, you can even look underneath the device and see exactly where it is communicating to and what is being blocked. From here, you can block the devices from accessing certain sites. Or you can block by application or activity type directly. The Alarms button will display all the security and activity alarms. Firewalla can alert you with many things, such as hacking attempts to your network, someone is watching adult content, playing games, or a new device is coming onto your network. Tap on an individual alarm, it brings up the detail page. Here you can see who, when, and where the activity is coming from. Based on this information, you can tell Firewalla what action to take when similar activities happen in the future. The Rules button allows you to manage access control rules. The Rules action can be either Allow or Block. The target is content aware, so you can control activities such as gaming, video, or adult content. The target can also be customized via the Target List feature, which can be a built-in or user-defined list of sites. Rules also allows you to schedule when a rule will take effect, a useful feature for parents to control kids' online time. If you don't want to deal with setting up rules and still want to block adult content for your family, just tap the Family button and turn on Family Protect. It is that simple and easy. For devices that can support the router mode, you will see the Network button. This button can be used to create and manage LAN, VLAN, and WAN interfaces in your network. If you have multiple WAN connections, you can either load balance or create an active and standby pair between them. Under the NAT settings, you will find various ways to do port forwarding, NAT pass-through, and the ability to manipulate NAT services. The Routes button implements policy and content-based routing in your network. Routes can help you to redirect specific types of traffic to any VPN connection or to a different WAN interface. You can define traffic routes based on network flows or content type. For example, send all video traffic from a device to VPN. The primary role of the Smart Queue is to regulate traffic flow in your network, reducing delays caused by congestion and buffer bloat. Here you can set a rate limit and prioritize traffic based on the content type, application, and network flows. The DNS Services button will help you to configure DNS over HTTPS to encrypt your DNS requests to DNS servers. Unbound is a validating and recursive DNS server that runs locally on the Firewalla, which can be useful if you want a native DNS server for performance and to prevent DNS entries from getting filtered or modified. The VPN server provides you with a secure way to connect back home from public Wi-Fi networks. You can surf the internet and access all of your home devices under the protection of Firewalla.
This server also allows remote workers to access company resources securely. The VPN client allows you to connect remotely to a third-party VPN service from home via multiple protocols. You have the flexibility to send all or partial network traffic through VPN. This feature also enables you to connect multiple firewall boxes together via the site-to-site -site VPN service. If your ISP has a monthly data usage limit, you can use the Data Usage button to track an alert before you hit that limit. The Data Usage feature also stores monthly and per-day internet usage, in case you want to dig into them further. The Open Ports button will tell you which ports are being opened by which device. In case there is a problem, or you don't know why it's open, you can block it. In addition to these core functionalities, tap on the Plus button and you will see all the firewall-supported features, including Active Protect and New Device Quarantine to lock down new devices and Device Port Scan. In case you want to look at network flows on a bigger screen or configure complex networks, you can tap on the Firewall a Web feature to log into the web interface. This interface's goal is to make complex and repetitive operations simpler with a keyboard and large screen. Firewalla, making cybersecurity simple and powerful.